learn how you can create an online course in WordPress using free tools. So let's get started. First things first, you need to have a fresh installation of WordPress. And after you do, just log into your WordPress admin dashboard. As you can see, we have already logged into our WordPress admin dashboard. We also have installed a free theme. Now this part totally depends on you because you can use any theme you prefer. We are using the Bloxy theme and we have imported a starter site called Biz Consult. Okay, so it completely depends on you what kind of theme you're using. We're using Bloxy as it has a free version and it gives us a lot of starter sites to work with. Now, to actually create our course, we are going to use a plugin called Tutor LMS. To get Tutor LMS, you can go to plugins and click on add plugin. From here, you can search over here for Tutor LMS. And here is the plugin. You can see it has over 100,000 active installations. So it's considered one of the most popular and widely used LMS plugins for WordPress. Now, it also has a pro version, but in this video, we will be using the free version to create a course. So after you have installed and activated it, it will be added over here. Now, if we hover our mouse over Tutor LMS, you can see that we have some options over here, such as courses, what's new, orders, coupons, categories, tags, etc. What we are going to do is simply click on courses, and you can see we already have two courses published, but we are going to create a new course. To create a new course, we are going to click on this button and it's going to open up the course builder of Tutor LMS. And you can see that this is a beautifully designed course builder. Over here, we can add our title and description of our course. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, we have added our title and we have added our description. Now down here, we can also look at the options. In the general options, we can select a difficulty for this course. We can either choose all levels, beginner, intermediate, or expert. Now we are going to choose beginner. And if you want to make this course public, so no enrollment will be required, you can make this public by enabling this button. You can enable Q&A for this course by clicking over here. Next is the content drip option. But you can see that content drip is a pro feature and it will only be available if we have Tutor LMS Pro. And for enrollment, here we can specify the maximum number of students for this course. If you select zero or if you just leave it blank, unlimited students can enroll to this course. Okay, after this, on the right hand side, we can choose the visibility for our course. We can make it public, password protected or private. Since we want to create and sell the course online, we are going to choose public. Then we can also schedule this course. But of course, you can see that this is also a pro feature and we won't have access to this. Then we can schedule our course. We can choose a date and we can choose a time. And here's another feature that says show coming soon in the course list and details page. Of course, we can't use it because it's included in the pro version only. Next, we are going to choose a featured image for our course. All right, we have uploaded our featured image. Again, you can also upload an intro video for your course. In this case, you can just click over here and choose a video from your media library or you can upload files or you can click over add from URL. You can either choose a YouTube video, Vimeo video, embedded or shortcode, or you can add in your external URL. Of course, if you don't see this, you have to actually enable this. So in order to do this, we are first going to save our course as draft and then we are going to close this course builder. Now we're going to go to the settings and from here we're going to click on the course tab and now we're going to scroll down over here and in the preferred video source you can check all of these or you can check those which you think is relevant. After you select all of these just click on save changes and all your changes will be saved then you can go back to your courses. You can see our course has been drafted over here so we're simply going to click over here and click on edit and then you can add in your intro video. Next is the pricing model. Now, Tutor LMS has a native e-commerce system. You can either use that native engine or you can use WooCommerce. By default, we are using the native e-commerce engine. You can choose if your course is free or if it's paid. If you choose paid, you can add your regular price over here. Then you can also choose a sales price, but we are not going to add it. Then in the category section, you can choose a category or you can add a category just by clicking over here. We're going to choose this marketing and email marketing over here. And again, you can also add tags. 
from here. Great, the basic section of our course is complete. Now we are going to move on to the curriculum. So let's scroll down and click on this next button. And you can see that we have nothing over here and we can start by clicking on add topic button over here. Notice that there's a notebook over here. If you click on it, you can take notes here. Okay, but we're not going to use this right now. So to add our topic, we are simply going to click on this add new button. And from here, we're going to add a title and a summary. Now, how this entire curriculum is built, don't worry, you will understand just in a few seconds. Okay, we added our title and summary. Now we're going to click on this OK button. And our first topic has been created. Now let's go ahead and add another topic. Great, now we have two topics. In the same way, we are going to add a few more topics. Okay, so we have added more topics. Now you can see that we have five topics. You can also drag and drop these topics anywhere. Okay, now the topics are created, but all of these are actually empty. What we can do is add lessons within these topics, and then we can add learning materials within those lessons. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. To add the first lesson, we are going to go open up this topic one and click on lesson, and then it will open up the lesson builder. From here, we are going to enter our lesson name. All right. Then we can add in our lesson content here as well. We can also add media files from here. So if you have a media file, you can add it from here. You can also add a feature to your lesson and a video as well. Now, normally what we see for a modern online course, the lessons have videos. So this is where you can upload your video and your lesson will become a video lesson. So we are going to add one of our videos from our YouTube channel. Of course, this isn't relevant to this topic, but it will actually show you how this thing works. So I'm going to go and grab the URL of our video and paste it. We copied the URL. Now let's click on this add from URL, choose YouTube, and let's paste our URL. Now let's click on OK. And it's going to find the video and show it over here. We can also add a video time over here and we can also upload exercise files from here. And here you can see the lesson preview. This is a feature where if you check this, users or guests can view this lesson without enrolling in the course. Now this is a neat feature where you can give your students a preview of what this course is all about without enrolling to this course. But of course this is a pro feature, we cannot use it with the free version. So after you're done, you can click on this save button and you will have created your first lesson. Now you can see that under topic one, we have the first lesson. In this way, we can click on lesson again and add more lesson. So let me go ahead and add a few more lessons so you can understand how this will look like. Great, we have all the lessons added. You can also drag and drop these lessons to change their orders. And that is how you can create topics and add lessons within your topics. In this way, you can go ahead and add as many lessons as you want within your topics. But for this video, we are going to leave it as it is because this is just a demonstration and adding more lessons will only take up more time. Another thing that we want to show you is the quiz system. So if you want, you can also add quizzes to your course and quizzes makes your course more interesting and it gives you a chance to evaluate your students or check how much they have learned. If we click on this quiz button, it's going to open up the quiz builder of Tutor LMS. From here, we can add our quiz title and we also added a summary. Now we're going to click on OK. Now to add a question, we can click on this plus button over here and you can see that we have some question types over here. Let's go ahead and read true or false, multiple choice, open-ended, essay, fill in the blanks. Now these four question types we can use. The other four which are short answer, matching, image answering, ordering, here you can see that these are only available in the pro version of Tutor LMS. But regardless, we can still use any of these. Let's go ahead and choose the multiple choice as this is a very popular question type. And after you choose this, you can create your question from here. First, let's write the question. All right, so this is our question. Now we're going to click tick mark. All right, now we can also add a description. If it's necessary, you can add a description. And over here, we can add in our options. Since this is a MCQ or a multiple choice question, you can have multiple options. We are going to click on add options and we're going to add in our option. It's also possible to add an image. So if you want, you can also add an image. We're going to click on OK. 
And in this way, we are going to add a few more options. All right, we have added all of our options. Now, after you've added your option, you also have to choose the correct answer or correct answers. So this is our correct answer. Now, since this is a multiple choice, it can also have multiple correct answers. If you want to have multiple correct answers, you can enable this from here in the conditions. If you enable this, you can have multiple correct answers, okay? And of course, after creating the question, you can also take a look at the conditions. If you want to make this compulsory that students have to answer it, uh, enable the answer required. The next condition is randomized choice. If you enable this, it will randomize the options of your question. And you can also award points for this question and you can choose if you want to display the points or not. All right, so after you add a question, you can click on next to go to the settings or you can add more questions. So let's go ahead and add another question. Great, we added another question. This is the correct answer. And now after you're done, you can click on this next button and you can see there are some settings. In the basic settings, you can add a time limit. So students will have a limited time to answer these questions. Then you can also hide quiz time. You can choose a feedback mood. You can give the students a chance so they can retry. You can choose a reveal mood so the answer will be revealed. Or you can choose the default mood where answers are shown after finishing the quiz. So you can have the default selected. Then you can also choose a passing grade. So you set it to 50%. So if students only answer one question correctly, they can pass. Max questions allowed to answer. So the maximum number of questions students can answer. So you can specify the number over here. In the advanced settings, you can choose the quiz auto start. So students don't have to click on the start quiz button to start the quiz. You can choose the question layout. So will it be a single question, question pagination or question below each other? I think the single question is better. You can randomize the question order, hide question number. You can also set character limit for short answer character limit for open-ended and essay answer. Great, after that, you can click on save button and you can see that the question has been added. In this way, you can add multiple questions to your topics. Now, there are two more options over here, the interactive quiz and the assignments. The interactive quiz is available through the H5P elements. And if you guys want to learn how you can use H5P on your Tutor LMS courses, we have a video tutorial on that topic. We will put it in our video description so you guys can learn more. Again, if you want a detailed tutorial on how to create quizzes in Tutor LMS, we also have a tutorial on that topic. You can find it in the video description. Next, here you can also see that we have the assignment button. And of course, this is only available in the pro version. With it, you can add assignments and students can submit their assignments. So in this way, you can create your course curriculum in Tutor LMS. After you're done with this, you can click on this next button and it's going to move on to the additional tab. Over here, you can add what will students learn, target audience, course duration, materials included, requirements and instructions, and here you can see that there's an option to add certificate to your course. But of course, this is not available in the free version. Alas, we cannot use it. There are few more things that you can see, such as course prerequisites, attachments, schedule live classes. All these advanced features are only available in Tutor LMS Pro. So since we are using Tutor LMS Free, let's only add the options that we are given. All right, so we have done everything. Now, all that is left is to publish our course. So let's go ahead and click on this publish button. Before you publish it, what you should do is save as draft. Then over here, click on preview. Now, if we click on preview, it's going to give us a preview of how this course will look like from the front end. So we can see that it looks like this. Okay, so if you are okay with this, you can click on this publish button to publish your course. So our course has been published and that is how you can create a course in WordPress using free tools. So let's close up this builder and this is our course. Now let's get to a bonus for this video. We are going to upgrade to Tutor LMS Pro and show you what are some of the features that you can take advantage of. All right, we upgraded to Tutor LMS Pro. You can see a lot more options has been added now. We can see the course bundle. We can see the gradebooks. We can see the assignments. 
and so many more important stuff. If we go to the add-ons section, this is where you can find different add-ons for your Tutor LMS site. You will have the course bundle option, the subscription option, social login, content rip, multi-instructor assignments, course preview, course attachments, and so much more. Now, some of these features we saw during the course creation as they had the pro label on. So now let's go ahead and see some of those in action. So we're going to go back to courses and we're going to edit this course. And now you can see we have the content rip available over here. We have the schedule course content by date, course content available after X days from enrollment, course content available sequentially, course content unlocked after finishing prerequisites. You can choose whichever content rip you prefer, but normally this is the content rip that many people choose. If you want a detailed tutorial on Tutor LMS content rip, you can find it in our video description. And in the pricing model, you can see that we have some more options such as one-time purchase only, subscription only, subscription and one-time purchase, membership only, or all. So we get more options for our course monetization. Also, we can now use AI to generate content for us, such as the title, description, featured image. We can use AI. All we have to do is connect it with our OpenAI account and it will be good to go. Now in the curriculum, we can also add assignments now. If we want, we can just simply click on this assignment button. Of course, you have to enable the add-on first. Then you can add a title, add a content, and you can upload attachment. So students can complete their assignments and upload it. And as for lessons, if we click over here now, let's edit one of these lessons. Now you can see that lesson preview feature is available. Also for quizzes, if we edit this quiz, now you can see we have all the questions available and the additional tab now you can also add a certificate to your course you can see there are so many certificate templates you can choose any one of these so these were some of the features that you get with tutor lms pro now if you want to use another e-commerce system you can simply go to settings and if we click on the monetization option here you can choose your e-commerce engine. Currently the native engine is selected, but if you have any other plugins such as WooCommerce or Easy Digital Downloads, you can select it from here. Now one more thing that I want to show you is how you can add the courses to your website. For example, we have a website over here, but there's no way to access the course page. That can easily be done. So what we're going to do is go back to our dashboard and then we're going to go to appearance and click on menus. From here, we are going to choose our main menu and click on select. Now, depending on what theme you're using, this might be different, but the process is similar. We're going to click on view all and we're going to find our course list page. Then we're going to click on add to menu and this course list will be added. Then we're going to click on save menu. Now, if we go back to our site and we can see that we have a new item, if we click on course list, now we can see all our courses in this section. So that is how you can create courses in Tutor LMS. Of course, you can use the free version to create the courses, but the pro version gives you much more features as you can see. Now, before we end this video, we are also going to take a look at the pricing of Tutor LMS. You can see that there are two plans, the annual and lifetime. The annual plans have three tiers, the individual, business, and agency. The individual plan is available for $199 a year, is usable for one site, and it gives you access to all the pro add-ons, features, unlimited courses, and users, pro themes, AI studios, priority support, and updates for one year. The business plan is available for $399 a year. Year. Use it for up to 10 sites and the agency plan is available for $799 a year and you can use it for unlimited sites. If we switch on to the lifetime plans, the individual plan is now available for $499, which is a one-time payment. It's usable for one site. The business plan is now available for $999 and it can be used on 10 sites. And the agency plan is $1,999 and it can be used on up to 50 sites. So no matter which tier you get, you will have access to all the features of Tutor LMS. The difference is only the site licenses. If you want to get Tutor LMS Pro, you can check our video description for a link. Okay, so that brings our video to an end. We hope that it was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.